Hey everyone, this is Argon Matrix. Welcome you to episode 64 of Let's Play the Super. The, the what? Never mind. Um, <laughs> last time we we had a, a little bit of a trouble getting the giant 12, but we finally did. And as you can see, it holds 500 rupees. I don't know if, know if I ever made that clear. I thought I had to make it clear. It's so the same as an Ocarina of Time. And now we're here, in midnight of the first day in North Clocktown, because there's something interesting here right now. And yeah, we already did this like in one of the very first few episodes, I know, but there's a reason you're going to want to do this again. And you should only do this once you have the giant's wallet. Oh man. Uh-oh. He's going to take the He's going to take your bag. Oh no. Okay. Okay, give the old lady her luggage back, dude. Oh, no. Well, screw you then. <laughs> he just explodes. Oh yeah. Okay. I don't know why you have to do this right now, but apparently you do, so I'm just telling you right now. But what you're actually going to want to do that you need 500 rupees for, and this is actually the only thing in the game you need 500 rupees, or, well, the only thing in the game you really need the giant's wall for, period. Um, you need to buy something in the curiosity shop on the third day, the night of the third day. So I'm going to meet you there then, because if I just spend time waiting here with you, it'll take pretty much half the episode, so let's not do that. Alright guys, I thought I'd cut in a little bit early here, I'm just waiting for 10pm so that the curiosity shop will open. But I just thought that while I'm waiting, I'd bring up the thing that I started today with my good friend K6Scope. We actually started a co-op LP of Super Mario 64. Um, <laughs> how that's supposed to work, I have no idea. Well, I do, but... Yeah, so you can go check that out if you want. I'll link it in the description in case that kind of thing interests you. And now it's pretty much 10 o'clock anyway, so let's go ahead and head down to the curiosity shop. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Alright, and the guy in here, he's going to have something awesome for us. Come in. <laughs> I already came in, come on. You gotta look around, I'm doing a special sale. Check it out. Tonight's bargain is the all-night mask for use at bedtime. I forgot when this was made, but it surely is a freaky mask. Sh see? When you put it on, you can try and try to fall asleep, but you won't be able to. Pretty creepy, huh? What'll it be? I want that, like, armor suit in the background. That looks awesome. But I guess I'll check the bargain and settle for- No, I don't want to talk to you again. Shut up! I'll, uh, browse. Okay. The all-night mask. A bargain of 500 rupees. Yep. Man, and look at that thing. That is really creepy. Why does that remind me of Friday the 13th? I don't know. But I'll buy it. Because it's required for two hard pieces in the game. Yay! Apparently, this mask won't let you drift off to sleep even when you want to. Where it would see. Cool. Not that the Link ever really falls asleep anyways, but okay. Oh, I don't have nothing else to sell. I kid you not. So, can I buy something? Um, no. I don't have anything to sell you. Well, I could try to sell you my bunny hood, but why would I ever part with that? That's ridiculous. You're ridiculous, man. You're stupid. Okay, so now, uh, you can't do, you can't get the heart pieces with, uh, that all night mask, you can't do it that on the third day, or the third night, rather, so I'm gonna have to reset time here, and, ah, uh, damn it, I screwed that up, whatever, dude, I'm playing the inverted song time, what am I doing, jeez, I play that more than the frickin', uh, normal song time, so, jeez, I just got confused there, alright, there, that's the right one. Yeah, so this is going to be kind of interesting. I don't know if this is going to consume the whole episode, just getting these two heart pieces. It very well could, because these things that we have to do for it are pretty long. Basically, we have to listen to some stories, giving us some backstory on the game, which is kind of cool, because I like the story of this game. It's pretty epic. Alright, whoa! Man, that animation is still so cool. Never get over it. And, dawn of the first day, 72 hours remain. Jeez, this might actually be one of the last times we have to reset time. Uh, definitely like one of the last ten times that we'll have to reset time. So we'll just slow the pace of time because I have a feeling that I might actually start the, te the temple in this cycle, so it'll be useful to have as much time as possible. So now you want to head to the stockpot in with this creepy looking mask. And I didn't really show this off before because there wasn't much of a point before. Well, there, there was a point, and I'll ex explain that when we get there. But, you're, yeah, you're just going to... Dude, I need the Deku mask first. Duh. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, there is, a, there is like a point to talking to this lady before you get the all-night mask. It's just you can't get the heart pieces before talking to her. Um, well, truthfully, there's really a point. There's really a point to talking to everyone in this game because they all have some interesting crap to say. Like you, what do you say? Tell me something. Tell me something, bitch. Okay. Hmm. Ah. Oh, well, that won't work. No, that's too basic. Yeah, she's thinking about her dance that we helped her with. Oh, that's crazy. Well, that Camaro helps her with really. Right. So we head into here, and the lighting's all different. Nice ambiance. And this is Anju's grandmother. So you're gonna want to put on your all-night mask and talk to her. Oh, Tortoise, did you finish helping father? Then let mother read you a story. Now, which story would you like to hear? So there's two different stories here. The Carnival of Time, which will take two hours. The Four Giants takes till morning. Uh, you can actually come here before getting the all-night mask and listen to these stories. And Link will fall asleep because apparently they're just that boring. But it will pass the time. So if you want to like pass a little bit of time, but not until morning, then um, you can listen to the Carnival of Time thing. So that's... A neat little trick to pass time. I never really showed that off because I never felt the need to. And once you have the all-night mask, Link won't fall asleep during these stories, so you can actually listen to them. Right? Read someone th with some enthusiasm. Oh, I can't read this with enthusiasm in that freaking old lady voice. Well, I'll try. The Carnival of Time. Each year, the season of harmony begins when, some, when the sun and moon are in alignment. Paying homage to the way that both nature and time tirelessly are tirelessly in the process of progressing. The Carnival of Time is when the people of the four worlds celebrate harmony and request fruitfulness for the year. Whoa, that's so cool. So color Why does that remind me of Wind Waker? For ages, people have worn masks remembering the giants who also gods, who are the gods of the four worlds. Now, it's become a custom for each person to bring a handmade mask to the Carnival of Time. It is said that if a couple united on the day of the festival and, and dedicated a mask as a sign of their union, it would bring luck. The centerpiece of the carnival is the clock tower, and on the eve of its festivities, the doors to its roof are opened. From atop the clock tower roof, a ceremony call to call the guards is held and an ancient song is sung. And the oath to order, baby. All these festivities are are the carnival t for the carnival of time are held so that we may ask the gods for a rich harvest in the year to come. <laughs> a rich harvest from where? There's like no farms around here. Okay, so if you listen to that after, with the all-night mask on, then she'll ask you this question. Uh, when does the clock tower door open? Duh, on the eve of the carnival. We've lived that, baby. And we get some candy as a prize, which is a heart piece. Delicious, yummy heart piece. Sweet. You pr you were praised by the old woman. Nice. She look at Link wearing that creepy thing. Man. Let's get a close-up of that. Well, that's not really a close-up, it's just a different angle. Now he just looks taller. Okay, that's still a creepy ass mask though. Alright, so we're gonna talk to her again, and this time we're gonna hear what I consider the more interesting story, the four giants. Cause the carnival of time you kinda already knew, and this one you don't know too much about. Okay, with some extra gusto. Nice. The four giants. It's this tale from long ago when people were separate weren't separated into the four worlds like they are now. In those times the people lived together and the four giants lived among them. On the day of the festival festival of and this, what? On the day of the festival that celebrates the harvest, the giant spoke to the people. We have chosen the people to go to people while we sleep. A hundred steps north, a hundred steps south, hundred steps east, hundred steps west. Why do the giants sound so retarded? If you have, if you have need, call us in a loud voice by declaring something such as the mountain blizzard has trapped us, or the ocean is about to swallow us. Your eyes, your cries shall carry to us. Oh my god, the ginormous. Now then, now then, there is one who is shocked and saddened by all this. A little imp. The imp was the friend of the giant since before they had created the four worlds. Why must you leave? Why can you not stay? <laughs> this is the most stupid voice I've ever done for anything. The childhood friend felt neglected, so he spread his anger across the four worlds. Repeatedly, he wronged all the people. Overwhelmed by misfortune, the people sang the song of prayer to the giants who lived in each of the four compass directions. The giants heard the cry and responded with a roar. Oh imp, oh imp, we are the protectors of the people. God damn it, my voice sucks. You have caused the people pain. Oh imp, leave these four worlds, otherwise we shall tear you apart. The imp was frightened and saddened. He had lost his old friends. The imp returned to the heavens and harmony was restored to the four worlds. And if people rejoiced, they worshipped the giants of the four worlds like gods, and they lived happily 
ever after. Until now. Ba ba ba. Yeah. So I imagine you can know who the little imp is. Okay, what do the people do to call the giants? This is kind of a trick, and it's kind of a mean trick. It's kind of a douche move. Because you think that the answer is sing a song, right? But the correct answer is actually I don't. How you'd ever know that on your first try is beyond me. Unless you didn't actually listen to the story. Okay. Oh, really? But you listen so hard, so mother is happy. I'll give you some candy as your prize. And you get another piece of heart for not knowing anything. Good job. That's actually a new heart container, so... We'll be going to Stone Tower with 17 hearts, guys. And I think that's actually the next thing on my list, because I know in the last episode, at the very end, I said I was going to get started on my favorite side quest of the game, which was not that, not what I just did. If you thought me listening to some old hag's stories was my favorite side quest, then... I don't know what to tell you, man. Uh, wait, hold on, I want to blow this thing up. Uh, because I've heard that awesome things can happen when you do that. Alright, watch it go BOOM! Oh, holy crap! <laughs> I was not expecting that. Alright, well, I guess that's a decent way to end off the episode. Sorry for the extreme boringness of this episode, but, you know, those harpies had to get out of the way sometime, so. Next time, we're going to go ahead and get started on the stone tower, because I want to save that awesome side quest for the very end of my LB. So, thanks everyone for watching, and until next time, this is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you, and good night.